What's going on family? Adam here with a video. Today is Tuesday, August the 2nd, 2022. And I love you guys and keep on looking up because our redemption draws nigh. So family, today we're going to be talking about the Euphrates River. There's a lot of interesting stuff going on with the Euphrates River. We are seeing Bible prophecy begin to be fulfilled. Now, the Euphrates River is a river that will play a critical role in the end times. In the Bible, we first read about the Euphrates River in the book of Genesis. Genesis 2.14 And the name of the third river is Hittichal. That is which goeth towards the east of Assyria. And the fourth river is the river Euphrates. Now, we also read about the Euphrates River in the book of Revelation. John gave us some very detailed prophecies about the Euphrates River that will be fulfilled during the time of Jacob's trouble. Revelation 16.12 And the sixth angel poured out his vow upon the great river Euphrates, and the water thereof was dried up, that the way of the kings of the east might be prepared. And we also read about the Euphrates in Revelation 9.14 and 15, saying to the sixth angel which had the trumpet, Loose the four angels which are bound in the great river Euphrates, and the four angels were loose, which were prepared for an hour, and a day, and a month, and a year, for to slay a third part of men. You see, family, there are some very distinct prophecies about the Euphrates River in our Bible, and for years now, the level of the Euphrates River has been dropping. We are literally seeing this prophecy begin to be fulfilled, or I guess what you could say would be a shadow of this prophecy. Beneath the Euphrates River, there's quite a lot of prophecies and stories surrounding this river drying up. Christianity, Islam, and ancient Babylon all have connections to this river and what's underneath it. Christianity and Islam both teach that this river will dry up. And there's an ancient legend that Babylon had a tunnel under the Euphrates that connected the two halves of the city of Babylon in Mesopotamia. I'll explain each of these in more detail. Prophecy within Christianity teaches that during the end times, the Euphrates River will dry up. Close to 2,000 years ago, written in 95 AD, the book of Revelation gives us two prophecies about the Euphrates River. The first is Revelation 9, 13-15. And the sixth angel sounded, and I heard a voice from the four horns of the golden altar, which is before God, saying to the six angels which had the trumpet, Loose the four angels which are bound in the great river Euphrates, and the four angels were loosed, which were prepared for an hour, and a day, and a month, and a year, for to slay the third part of men. This is in reference to the end times battles going on in that time. The next prophecy about the Euphrates tells us that it will be dried up, which is amazing because we are seeing the beginning stages of this happen right now as different nations dam up the river and the regions surrounding the river are dealing with horrible droughts. Revelation 16:12. Then the sixth angel poured out his bowl on the great river Euphrates and it was dried up so that the way of the kings from the east might be prepared. Also worth noting, the Euphrates River was also mentioned in the first book of the Bible, Genesis. According to Genesis 2.14, a river named Euphrates is one of the four rivers that flow from the Garden of Eden. The other three rivers are Pishon, Gihon, and the Tigris. People say that the Bible's not real and that it's made up. Well, I'm fixing to show you something that proves that it's real. In the book of Revelations, it talks about the Euphrates River drying up and releasing the four fallen angels that are bound underneath the Euphrates River. And once they're released, all hell breaks loose on Earth. Listen to these clips. Now guys, if you look on your screen right here, you can see pictures of the Euphrates River from 2020 and 2021, and you can tell a big difference in the level of water. Now experts warn by 2040, the Euphrates River will be completely dried up. And also family, I want to add this. All right, The levels of the Euphrates River has went down so much that they recently discovered some caves that were submerged by the Euphrates River. And it's interesting because of what the Bible tells us in Revelation 9, saying to the sixth angel, which had the trumpet, loose the four angels which are bound in the great river Euphrates. Now, family, I don't know about you, but I have no intentions on being here when these four things are released from up under the Euphrates River. Family, what we're seeing take place with the Euphrates, I believe, is the beginning of these prophecies beginning to be fulfilled. 
Now, just remember, every prophecy that you find in your Bible will be fulfilled. Family, it's never become more apparent that we are living in the biblical end times. We are seeing prophecy be fulfilled. We're seeing prophecy begin to be fulfilled. And everything that Jesus said would be taking place prior to his return is all converging right now in this generation, the fig tree generation. Family, that's why the message of the gospel is so important in these end times. And let me close this video out by giving you the gospel of our salvation. Family, the message of the gospel is simple. I don't understand why man tries to make it so difficult. According to scripture, Jesus was born of a virgin and family, Jesus lived a sinless, perfect life. Jesus never once sinned. At the age of 30, Jesus started his earthly ministry. And in three years, Jesus changed the entire world forever. And Jesus did because here we are, nearly 2,000 years later, still talking about our Jesus. At the age of 33, Jesus loved us so much that he went on that cross. And guys, he spilled his perfect, innocent blood for the mission of our sins. My sins, your sins, your cousin's sins, your brother's sins, your sister's sins, family, everybody's sins. Jesus did it all on the cross. And Jesus laid dead for how long, family? For three days, three days, three days. At that third day, he busted that tomb wide open. No tomb could hold our Messiah Jesus ascended to go be with the Father, and on this channel, we do know he's coming back for us soon. And family, what is it we're looking for? It's that Titus 2.13, blessed hope. And world events and Bible prophecy are declaring the soon and intimate return of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Family, stay in that full armor of God and keep on looking up, because Jesus is truly coming soon. Well, my beautiful family, as always, I want to thank you for watching. And let me tell you this. I know I tell you this all the time. I love you guys, and I want to thank you for all the love and support. You'll never know how much I appreciate you guys and how much of a blessing you've been to me. Thank you. If any of you guys are new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join our channel family because on this channel, you guys are truly more than a number. You guys are loved and appreciated. And if any of you have any prayer requests, please drop them below. And myself or someone from the prayer team would be happy to pray over your prayer requests. And also, please remember, give this video a big thumbs up and feel free to share it. Guys, it truly helps out a lot and it is greatly appreciated. And guys, please remember to keep us in your prayers. We'll be heading down to Florida this week. And for four days, we're going to be down there passing out our hope bags. This is our biggest mission trip yet. So your prayers will be greatly appreciated. And if any of you guys feel led to contribute what we do on this channel, check the description box below. There's ways you can do so. It truly helps us on our mission to show Christ's love to the homeless. Till next time, Watchman Allen signing out. I love you guys and keep on looking up.